Thank you so much. And would you just say your name and, and that you're with IJV? Uh, yeah, my name is Ruben Kantorovich. I'm with IJV. I'm also with another Jewish organization called UJPO, United Jewish People's Order. Um, but anyway, I'm here for both of them <laughs> because they both, uh, they both uh, more or less have the same position regarding Israel-Palestine. I'm Ruben Kantorovich. Um, I'm here at a rally to um, uh, support Palestinian rights and uh, I'm going to relate to you the story of the Warsaw Ghetto. Uh, during the German occupation of Poland, um, they, the Germans, uh, the Nazis I should be more precise, uh, rounded up the Jewish population um, in Warsaw and um, uh, confined them to a ghetto. And the, the, the Nazis controlled everything that went in, everything that went out and um, imposed harsh conditions uh, on the Jews of the ghetto. The, there was uh, despair, there was uh, starvation, uh, death, uh, all, the, all, all that's, that, that permeated the, uh, the ghetto. Um, in, in 1943, the Jewish population inside the ghetto staged a revolt against their conditions. Um, it was suicidal because uh, they were lightly armed uh, 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 civilians were no match for the German army. Um, but um, the, um, the point is that the Nazis called them terrorists. And for the Jews, uh, they considered the, those who led the uprising to be freedom fighters. So when I look at the situation today in Gaza, um, all, it's the same situation. All you have to do is change Nazi for Israeli and Palestinian for Jew. <laughs> and, uh, so you have, uh, I'll reiterate, in, pa in pa uh, Gaza, you have uh, essentially an open-air prison where the Israelis control everything that goes in and goes out. They control the uh, sea around Gaza. They control the airspace, um, and um, ha have the Gazans on a essentially a starvation diet. That's been the situation for at least 15 years, maybe longer. And um, anyway, the point is that right now what we're wit witnessing uh, a, a kind of a, a grotesque scenario where you have an oppressor and an oppressed peoples and um, we, ha uh, we have a situation where the op oppressor is being portrayed as the victim and uh, so the Palestinians inside Gaza uh, are, are, being, um, are being murdered. Uh, there, there's uh, there's no, um, no other way to put it. Um, and um, for all for all the um, posturing by the American, Canadian, British, other European uh, countries, I mean the governments, I'm not talking about the peoples within the, these countries, I'm talking about the governments uh, pose as defenders of uh, human rights and all this nonsense and are um, egging on and supporting the Israelis in this genocide. And um, I, uh, I don't know if I mentioned uh, the article, <laughs> uh, what prompted me to talk about the Warsaw Ghetto, but it was an article in the Free Press penned by Mr. Charles Adler, who, um, by appropriating the Holocaust, uh, essentially argues that um, that gives the Israelis the right to do whatever they want. and. Uh, without any kind of uh, justification um, or I should maybe put it another way that uh, I should put I should put it the way uh, Golda Meir an ex ex prime minister of Israel put it uh, because of the Holocaust we don't have to justify anything we do and that's what we're seeing today and uh, uh, just um, is 
uh, it's awful to uh, to to see how low um, how, how low our, our our leaders have sunk, and that they'll accept this state of affairs. I guess I'll leave it at that. Yeah.